Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share the Python implementation of an example for linear quadratic regulator given by Professor Mark Cannon from University of Oxford uh, in his course on model predictive control. The lecture notes are available in this uh, address. What I am going to uh, solve is this example on page uh, number 12. The MATLAB implementation for this example uh, is given in this address, which is from MATLAB's help. 2023 2023 also if you scroll down this page you can see that at the end uh, the name of professor cannon is mentioned here professor mark cannon's lecture note so the lecture note is this And uh, here is my snippet code uh, for MATLAB implementation of the example. You can see that uh, I have written the input data for the problem. The matrix A, 1.1, 2, 0, and 0 0.95. 1.1, 2, 0, and 0 0.95. And also the um, data for matrix B, C, D, and the uh, time step, and so on. Uh, let me share all of the uh, snippet, uh, this in snippet code first before I forget. This is all of my MATLAB code. If I run this code, what you, I get is this figure. And it, uh, this figure is exactly the same as what's shown here in this page page number 12 let's compare the same figure as you can see Now, if I comment uh, this line and also this line and uh, run again the code, let's see. This is what I get. This time, this figure in the lecture notes. Again, you can see that I have got the exact same figure using my MATLAB code. Also, before I forget, uh, what I wanted to show you is that 
after running this line in my code what I get as k the uh, gain matrix k is this the exact same values are reported here in the book this vector 4k and now the main problem uh, in my code is uh, how to obtain this matrix or this vector k this is the most important and essential part the rest is just matrix vector multiplication nothing complicated some matrix vector multiplication and some uh, plotting stuff very straightforward now the question is that how can I obtain this matrix K in Python without using uh, the control library in Python uh, now let us see what is the mathematics behind this command LQRY in MATLAB uh, actually from here you can see that the mathematics behind LQRY of MATLAB is um, is that LQRY of sys Q, R, and N is, uh, is equivalent to LQR of your system, Q bar, R bar, and N bar, where Q bar, R bar, and N bar uh, can be computed by this matrix multiplication. Uh, now let me do this matrix vector multiplication first I need to multiply these two matrices uh, the first row times the first column is QC plus N times 0 which makes zero. First column times the second, first row times the second column makes QD plus NI, which is N. Second row times the first column is N transpose times C plus R times zero and the second row times the second column is n transpose times d plus r times i now uh, i have to multiply c transpose uh, zero d transpose and i Uh, now what I get is C transpose times Q times C um, first row first column now first row second column which makes C transpose Q D plus C transpose N D transpose Q C plus N T C D transpose Q D 
plus d transpose n plus n transpose d plus r. This is my final matrix q bar, n bar, n bar transpose and r bar. From this what I get is that q bar equals c transpose q c n bar equals c transpose q d plus c transpose n and r bar r bar is equal to this one r bar equals d transpose q d plus d transpose times n plus n transpose times d plus r Uh, but remember, since in my case I don't have uh, the matrix N, uh, it means that basically N is zero here. So this term is zero, this term, and this term. All of them are equal to zero. Therefore, uh, let me get rid of this, also these two terms. Let me move this here. Uh, now, according to what is mentioned here in this page, basically LQRY of SYS Q, R, and N is equal to equal to L, Q, R L, Q, R of S, Y, S and S, Y, S, Q bar and R bar. Q bar and R bar. Of course, in general, uh, Q bar, R bar and N bar. But you will see that, at least in my example, since D is equal to zero, here, D equal, is equal to zero, then this term, N bar is equal to zero. Uh, so, as a result, uh, I can simply write LQR of cis, Q bar, and R bar. Uh, now let me implement the mathematics that I have done here in my code to see if I'm able to replace LQRY with LQR or not. So I have to define Q bar equals uh, C transpose QC. In my case, instead of Q, I have QY. So I have to write C transpose times Q times C for Q bar. N bar is equal to zero. R bar is equal to D transpose times Q times D plus R. And uh, now, according to what is explained in this uh, page, uh, I can 
write instead of this command I can write LQR of sys Q bar and R bar let me run these a few lines and see if I get the same gain matrix K or not I have to obtain these values again let's see Q bar R bar and this command uh, Q is not defined excuse me I should have written Q Y here Q Y here and Q Y here again You can see that I'm getting the exact same matrix. This time without LQRY. I'm using just LQR here. So I can comment I can comment this line. Now in my next step I want to understand what is the mathematics behind this command LQR. Indeed what LQR uh, does is to solve the algebra, um, discrete time algebraic Riccati equation. This equation. In order to obtain matrix K first I need to solve this algebraic Riccati equation uh, fortunately for this equation there are a lot of methods one of them is presented by uh, Ivan Papusha uh, in his uh, lecture note I assume indeed uh, indeed in page where was that on page number 13 here this is the Riccati recursion a recursive uh, formula for obtaining for solving a uh, discrete time Riccati equation based on this uh, rec uh, recursive formula I have written a simple MATLAB function this tiny function which is uh, based on matrix multiplication and here matrix inversion very simple I can get uh, the exact same value for uh, gain matrix K let's see so I just need to write um, my LQR A B uh, Q bar and R bar let's see what happens uh, of course I forgot to add a, my, a negative sign here the same gain matrix as before so according to uh, what we have just obtained uh, I can rewrite this line by uh, writing my LQR and instead of sys I have to write A and B now the cool thing is that I no longer need this line so I can also 
command this line or let me delete these two parts so you can see that in my code I do not use anything related to the uh, MATLAB toolbox for control this is my function my LQR uh, of course I uh, could have written a more efficient of this function this way the same algorithm but um, a little bit more efficient so let me write my LQR2 here let me run from the beginning to see if I can get the, mate, the same matrix K, this matrix K, you can see this exact same matrix, this matrix, this time by using this fun, uh, MATLAB function. So, the good thing about this way of writing uh, li um, linear quadratic regulator example is that I can easily convert my MATLAB code this MATLAB code into Python which I have done here This is my function my LQR2. Let me show you all of the code. You can see that I have been able to obtain the exact same figure, the exact same plot shown in this page of the lecture note. the exact same figure also uh, the values reported for matrix K this matrix you can see it right here also if I comment uh, if I comment this line And uh, this line, and instead write PLT plot Y once again here PLT plot Y. What I get is this. This is the new plot. The exact same plot as you can see. This second plot. I have obtained here again in Python. So the good thing about this code is that it does not use any uh, command or uh, any command from control library of Python. You can see only matrix vector multiplication. 
the most complicated part is just solving linear system. Linear, uh, I use it from linear algebra of NumPy. This is the, the most complicated command, which is matrix, which is solving a linear system. But other than that, I do not use anything from control toolbox. Okay, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.